The last agriculture census was conducted in 2017, and it showed the average American farmer was white, male, and nearing his 60s. But it also showed something else. From 2012 to 2017, the number of male farmers fell, and females made up 36% of all farmers, which is a 27% increase in that five-year period. Tim Limecooler, a photojournalist, spent some time speaking with women farmers, and here's what they had to say about it. Well, we've seen a rise in women farmers a few years ago for a number of different reasons. Uh, a lot of women have been raised on farms, and then as they pursued a higher education, we've seen women pursuing careers in, in, in agriculture. Actually, strangely enough, I grew up in Kansas, surrounded by really big agriculture, and I joke that I would never date any of the farm boys because I didn't want to become a farmer's wife and be stuck on a farm. And it's in a variety of different sizes of farms. We see the big uh, uh, rural farms with, with several hundred acres all the way down to small urban farms right here in the middle of Springfield. So the sizes are certainly all across the board. No, I had no idea. I, w I went to school for, um, <laughs> I thought I was going to be a doctor. I thought I was going to be a pediatrician and then I started taking classes at Mizzou and I did pretty bad. I studied, I had a tutor, I still did so poorly and so I tried and tried and after after two years I transferred to Missouri State and I, I thought maybe if I switched to nursing and did that for a year, still did bad and then I dropped out and I went to OTC and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do something that sounds fun. I'm just going to be different and so I took plant science classes and straight A's from there. I knew, I knew after that 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 was what I wanted. So. Well, we have certainly seen a lot of women in particular that have had typical nine to five jobs. They worked in an office and they just felt that something was missing. Uh, live quality in an office job, nine to five, stuck at a computer, staring at a screen, going home and just not feeling fulfilled. Um, I would say my life quality was out of five. And then when I moved to the farm two years ago and I'm able to work outside and and work with plants and learn how to farm. I just, I feel so much happier. Uh, and then we've got over here, dino kale and green onions. I actually went to school for social work. I got my master's degree in social work from Missouri State uh, and was working with Springfield Community Gardens, working to address food insecurity. That was my main focus when I was in school. Um, and then I got into farming because it just, go so well together, you know, working with Springfield Community Gardens, I, I got to assess our community as a whole and what our food system looks like and how fragile it really is. Yeah, well certainly there is an increase in people wanting to know where their food comes from. We have seen a major demand in farmers markets and fresh locally grown produce and women are a huge part of that. Uh, they feel a close connection to the land. They want to produce that food for communities as well as their own families. I think women are just naturally kind of, I don't know, I don't want to stereotype too much, but it seems like a lot of women I know are naturally kind of nurturers and maybe that's just kind of the culture that we've been brought up in, but it's kind of in tune to us to pay attention to things we care about and love and like notice small details in a plant's health and how they're doing. So I think a lot of it is, um, especially millennials, wanting to grow our own food and be more health conscious. So, and women, women have always been in farming, but they've always been in the shadows. It's always been the men that are highlighted um, in the farming game. And so I think part of it is I'd, I'm inspired just to change that. Now the number of female farmers has been on the rise, but this 2017 agriculture census also found various forms of gender discrimination, even 20 years after the Department of Agriculture was sued by women for discrimination in its farm loan program.